if you're comfortable disclosing how much you charge, that'd be awesome. But yeah. um, how do you market for something that people probably either don't really understand or they have that stage hypnosis, yeah. you know, theory of what it is, right? Like having just gone through this exercise, I'm like, oh yeah, I'd pay this guy money to help clear some of this bullshit out of my mind. Yeah, yeah. But to see you on Instagram or talk to you at the gym and then be like, oh yeah, that's something I'd sign up for. Without the demonstration, right, I don't right. know that I would ever exchange right, cash right, right. for like your knowledge. Yeah, so yeah. how do you go about marketing for this and like, how do you make a living out of it? Yeah, so um, on my Instagram, so I run ads and people will follow me and then I'll have conversation with people. They, you know, DM you or whatever. Um, and then, you know, people just see what I post and then usually something will resonate with them or like, oh shit, I didn't realize that I was doing that. Or I didn't realize that was a thing. And so it, they kind of warm up to it that way where, and most people have heard about hypnosis and they have a little bit of a curiosity. And, and then, then once they look at what I do, it's like, oh, this guy's like, like you said in the beginning, he doesn't look like the typical hypnotist. Right. And, um, you know, I think people just kind of see just what I present, like, oh, he has a family. Oh, he does jujitsu. Oh, he's not some old white guy with gray hair and, and a pocket watch. Like this dude is a normal dude, you know? And uh, so, yeah. And, and then, you know, people just will, I think people see the message I put out and then they'll go, they'll book a consultation or we'll have a, a conversation through Instagram. And then, like I said, I'll have someone from my team do the, the initial taking call. So what, what my team does it, and man, if people like even doing a free call, just the initial intake call that in and of itself will change your fucking life. Like whether you move forward or not, like doing kind of doing what we just did that one little thing, but going on in a little bit deeper in a private setting, uh, that just wakes people up to like a lot of stuff. And so the person that uh, does my intake calls. They've been trained all in what I do. They're certified and all that. And so she kind of goes through, figures out what does this person need to do? Or what do we need to do moving forward to help them? And then she'll sign them up and then I'll, I'll do the, uh, the sessions and everything. So, and then I get, you know, I get referrals. I've, since I have been doing it for a little while, I have at least one client a week that signs up from a referral and I only take on like, cause I'll do a series. It's not like one session type of thing. It's Can't a solve all my problems. In one no, hour. <laughs> no, I wish it'd be cool. Uh, I, I'd be a fucking billionaire if that was the case, <laughs> if I could solve everybody's problem in one hour, but you know, six, I'll do like a five, six, seven session ordeal over, over a couple of weeks. And, um, and so I'll, I'll only take on like three, four clients a week. Cause outside of that, it becomes hard to you know live my life. But, um, and then sometimes I'll here and there, we'll do like five, six or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just, I kind of just, you know what it was going back to meditation in the beginning. So for like the first six, seven months of doing this, I took, you know, at the time I was making like 12, 13 grand a month selling insurance or whatever. And it was good money. Um, but when I started doing it, uh, hip hypnosis, like I was barely getting by in the first six, seven months. Like I remember, I want to say December. And well, here's the thing. I didn't get into this to make money. I got into it truly because I was excited about it. I wanted to help people. That was the first thing. And then I was like, just making money is a bonus. So again, if I had to take a pay cut just to be happy, but do something I want to do, I'm all about it. And so I remember, I think it was December, 2019, maybe the year of COVID. I want to say, I remember looking back on it. I want to say I made like $1,600 in a month, 1600 bucks. Like yeah, pretty scary when you have a newborn, right? Yeah. So luckily, like I, you know, I had some money saved and everything, but, uh, so yeah, so I definitely didn't do this because of, you know, I was going to cash out or anything, but, um, I remember like kind of going through that, like, man, like I got to get more consistent with this. It's kind of hit, hit, hit or miss. It's there. You know, I, I do enough to pay my bills and have a little bit left over, but this is just not, not, not enough. And I remember meditating one day. I'm like, man, what the fuck, what do I need to change in my business? And I'm like, dude, you've spent the last 10 years marketing your insurance business. So why don't you just do the same thing with the hypnosis? Just run ads. And I was like, Oh fuck. Yeah, no shit. So I just started running this ad. Do I ran one ad that was just me doing a rapid induction where you just grab somebody's hand and say sleep. Right. That was it. It was like a 17 second video. No, like, Oh, I'm going to do hypnosis with you. Nothing. It was just that. And I ran that ad for like two and a half years. And so many people would follow me from it. It ended up having like 5 million views or something. It just, I, yeah, I mean, I spent a lot of money on it, but, um, and that's kind of how I just built it up, built it up, built it up. And so, 
Yeah, but it's been Instagram ads. I'm writing that down right now. Yeah. Who who knew that was a thing? Oh, you didn't know that? Um, I mean, I I assumed, right, like any free platform, there's some type of ad revenue, but I didn't realize that it was that easy that you could just run like a 20 second video and you can do and any, pay for views. Yeah, any well, you're not paying they're like fake views, but you're right. Paying I mean you're for paying to, yeah, yeah, for it yeah. to be sourced or uh, put in front of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so I did that and I just kind of built up my following from that. And then yeah, I think people and then, you know, People see like, oh, this guy's worked with people in the NFL. He's worked with UFC athletes. And I think that kind of gives it a little bit more credibility because right. I'm not just some, you know, random person or whatever. But um, yeah, no, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's going really good. I, if you would have asked me three years ago, Dom, do you think you'll be, have worked with as many people as you've worked with and done as much as you've done and everything else? I would have been like, there's no fucking way, dude. I can't see, I can't, that, that doesn't seem possible but I just broke it down. I did things in steps. I was patient and I just kept building, building, building. And, um, yeah, now it's like, man, imagine where, where I was three years ago. Imagine where I'm going to be in three years from now. Wow. It's going to be even better. Cause just in the last year, I want to say I've probably invested $60,000 into personal development and like courses and extra trainings and stuff like that. Um, and so my knowledge base isn't just like a regular person. You know, I feel like I'm not trying to brag or anything. I put a lot of freaking time and energy and effort and money into my, my skill level. And so, and my ability. So, and it's only going to get better. So, um, so yeah, I never even thought about that. That's like the equivalent of a college education, but with way more fucking hours, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like the, the amount I put like money wise, I put into it plus time, like, yeah, it's 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 been a been a lot. So 